Na gut, was? Ach, ein Haftbefehl. Das heißt, wir sind durch. Kann ich ein Haftbefehl für Carla Mitchell bekommen? Prince on the jar lid, tell the whole story. Vielen Dank. Wir wissen, dass sie ihren Mann getötet haben. You're wrong. I loved my husband. You're wasting time going down the wrong road. My theory is that ball-breaking mother of his is in on it with Aster. Well, it wasn't Mom's prince on the jar lid. It was yours. And she didn't buy the tobacco. You did. Just like she didn't mix the poison. You didn't find out at the last second about your husband's camping trip. You knew in advance, which is why you bought the tobacco the day before, giving you plenty of time to mix it with pesticide, and send him off to the desert to die. But you dropped the lid and couldn't get to it. So, to throw off suspicion, you called contractor Lou Astor and had him collect his materials and haul them away before your husband left. You want a confession? You're not going to get one. I'm an attorney and I know my rights. And incidentally, I'm innocent. I didn't need the money, and I loved him despite his faults. Maybe at one time, and whether you needed his money or not, what wife could sit there while her husband gambled away a trust fund? Here he is married to a beautiful woman like you, and he throws his money away on strippers. But Mrs. Mitchell, Carla, why not just divorce the guy? I'm not saying another word. Then you know, Greg, Carla's a Catholic, and divorce is a sin. Anyway, a divorce settlement wouldn't have meant squat with that trust fund whittled away. But half a million life insurance could make up for a lot of indignities. I'll see you in court. You'll love it. I'll defend myself. Perfect. And like the old saying goes, you'll have a fool for a client. <laughs> the tragedy of marriage, a wag once said, is that all women marry thinking their man will change, and all men marry believing their wives will never change, and both are wrong. For Carla Mitchell, marriage was built on trust. A trust fund, that is. When she saw it melt away, she sought a new policy, life insurance. Her poison of choice was tasteless and odorless, but not invisible, to the eyes of science at least. You did well. Let's evaluate your performance. You investigated every possible angle on this case. Doesn't happen often, but I'm very impressed. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> der vierte Fall ist geschafft. Oh. Okay. Dann kommt der letzte Fall dran. Dann sind wir leider auch schon fertig. Die große Notlüge. Na, Hilfe. Mal schauen, was da kommt. As you've seen, I'm juggling lab work and supervisor duties, so as much as I love field work, I don't always have the luxury of picking my cases. Or partners. However, this time, I do. On this case, I want to watch you work. This time, one of our own discovered the body. Dr. Al Robbins. Usually we have to go to the morgue to have the doc talk to us in the presence of a deceased victim. This time, a side alley near his home. We'll take the mobile analysis unit in case there's any evidence we need to process immediately. Ach du Schande. Robbins hat eine Leiche in seiner Nähe gefunden. Na super. Klingt irgendwie bescheuert, aber na gut. <lacht> Na gut, schauen wir uns das mal an. Äh. Sehe ich das richtig? Ja. Doc Robbins noticed the abandoned vehicle and saw something suspicious, so let's have him fill us in before we process the scene. Okay. Hallo Doc. So haben sich Ihren Feierabend bestimmt nicht vorgestellt. Am I glad to see CSI in the scene? My shift's about to start and I have work to do. Yep. Was haben Sie gefunden, Doc? I was driving past and I noticed this car with its trunk open. We're suspicious by nature in this business, so I took a closer look and saw what appeared to be blood spilling from that crate. So I called in. Okay. Konnten Sie herausfinden, was in der Kiste war? No. I may not do much field work, but I know enough not to taint the evidence. Okay, erkennen Sie das Fahrzeug? It's a familiar enough model. Wouldn't mind having a ride like this myself, but no, I've never seen it before. 
Okay, haben Sie etwas Ungewöhnliches bemerkt? Nothing overt. I noticed that the alarm still set and there are no Jimmy marks on the doors. Okay, haben Sie ja sonst noch jemanden gesehen? Oh, there's been a parade of witnesses. All rodents. Alles Nagetiere, na gut, die können wir alle befragen, ne? <lacht> Wann kamen Sie hier an? 11.43 p.m. Like the times I usually give you, that one's exact. I checked my watch. I think okay. that's all we need, Doc. If we need more... I know. You know where to find me. Ja, in der Leichenhalle, wir wissen's. So, mal schauen. Looks like the area is clean. Nice job being thorough. Mann, die Nachbarschaft hat ja nicht gerade viel Müll hier. Aha. Das ist so was. Da hat jemand seine Schlüssel hier liegen lassen. Okay, da ist wohl nichts. Aber interessant. Achso, ist auch der Mülleimer. Looks like the area is clean. Nice job being thorough. Ja, ich bin immer gründlich gewissen. Schauen, was hier so fein ist. Okay. Fahrzeug ID Nummer, okay. Alles klar. Looks like the area is clean. Nice job being thorough. Ich würde das ja nicht gerade sauber nennen, aber na gut. If we have a ditched body in car, why did our person or persons unknown bother to remove the crate first? Was the body dump interrupted? Or has this crime scene been tampered with? Na, bestimmt verfälscht. Da ist was. Mann, das hätte ich gar nicht sehen können, ja. Ah, na gut, wir haben es durch Zufall gesehen. Na, und hier scheint wohl nichts mehr zu sein. Okay, dann gucken wir mal. Na, hier geblieben. Body in the crate. Style and size of shoes indicate a male. Ach recht. Das hätte ich dir auch sagen können, dass das ein Mann sein muss. Na. Und da ist Blut. Danke. DNS des Opfers, okay. So, Reifenabdrücke. Seltsames Zeichen. So. Da ist auch noch was. Not quite. Something similar. Aha, da ist Blut dran. We have blood on the fender, but no sign of a hit and run. Body would have left a dent. Possibly unrelated. Could also be roadkill. No other blood trails. No nearby pooling. So lack of blood evidence indicates another crime scene, where the body might have been packed for transit. Nothing yet. Na gut. Gehen wir erstmal ins Labor. Vielleicht erstmal suchen. Nein.
Könnten kommen. Looks like it was owned by our PI, Gary Melvoy. Ouch. Okay, das hat auch hin. Ist ja traurig. So. Da noch ein Fingerabdruck. So, dann mal gucken. Nee. Nee. Nee, auch nicht. Schade. Ach ja, Reifenabdruck. Genau. Ja, da müssen wir versuchen. Ne, geht nicht. Schade. Mal schauen. Vielleicht such links. Ahaha. Dann mal gucken. Suche bei einem Resultat Fahrzeugbesitzer Gary Malfoy. Marke CMC. Ja, GMC. So. That goes on the trace analysis computer. Ist doch bei Spurenanalyse, oder? Aha. We've done all we can with that item. Alles klar, danke. We've done all we can with that item. Super. Okay, dann haben wir hier alles fertig. Okay, Robbins. Oh. Wenn das kein Service ist. Schon liegt der Tote hier. Okay, wie ist der Status unseres Opfers? Once I uncrated him, I found he was an African American male, mid 50s. And I have fingerprints for you, of course. Okay. Danke. Was ist die Todesursache? Two gunshot wounds to the back of the head, 9 mil, both entering at approximately a 35 degree angle downward and a 0 degree side angle. Markings on the back of the skull indicate a point blank shooting. Both rounds entered the occipital bone. One exited out through the forehead, the other stayed inside and got around to it. I have it for you. Ah, vielen Dank. Können Sie den Todeszeitpunkt festlegen? Based on body temperature, estimated time of death is 7 p.m., about 7 hours ago. Our Vic was not breathing when he was crated up. Alles klar. Irgendwelche anderen ungewöhnlichen Entdeckungen? The autopsy showed the victim had stomach problems. No ulcer. But he put away more than his share of antacids. Alles klar. Können Sie nichts Interessanteres finden? Hey, I found the body for you. What more do you want? Ja, stimmt auch wieder. Was will ich denn sonst? Na Gott. Schauen wir uns das mal an. Okay, das sehe ich auch jetzt schon, dass das nicht klappt. Sonst haben wir ja noch nichts. Mal schauen, kann Brass uns helfen? Ja, haben Sie Infos zu Gary Malfoy? Everybody in the LVPD knows him. Kind of a cop who likes to spout off about justice and then gets caught planting evidence. He wasn't fired from the force, but he quit just in time. A couple of years ago he went private. Okay. Haben Sie eine Ahnung, wo wir ihn finden können? Lives and works out of a rolling office in an RV park. I'll open it up for you. Ach, vielen Dank. Aber ich denke mal, ich mache jetzt erstmal Schluss. Oder gehe erstmal noch hin. Denn sonst speichert das Spiel ja nicht. Ah, schick. Okay, jetzt sage ich aber Tschüss. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal.